A SnowRunner new update is here. I will talk about that. Plus, shh, secret data mined information from the files that give us phase six content clues. Hello and welcome to a long overdue SnowRunner video from a tribe called Cars and Trucks. Fear not my cherished brethren, for I shall keep making SnowRunner videos. I just had access to Forza Horizon 5 and Hot Wheels Unleashed was a nice change of pace. So SnowRunner update 15.1, what is new? Well, this appeared to be mainly a bug fix extravaganza, including, it seems, the co-op refuel one hopefully. However, the developer patch notes are never that detailed, and in fact, it appears some bugs still persist. Also, is it just me or are mods broken? The patch notes on the official Focus Home forum mention improved towed vehicles wheel collision for evacuator add-ons, sexy. Improved crane behavior for Tatra Force, fixed a bug where saddle low and saddle high models appeared to be the same on the Caterpillar CT681, fixed errors in the description of the container carrier for Caterpillar 745 C updated engine sounds for Jeep Wrangler. From what I can tell, the Wrangler is now a throatier beast, but still has repetition in the audio, which I think was the actual problem. And other trucks have this issue too. Being honest, I do not use Scouts that much, except for testing purposes, but I know some of you do. In terms of general fixes, as Focus Home calls them, boring list alert, I will get to the fun stuff after, don't worry. Fixed a bug where the UI menu disappeared when a player changed video settings during the tutorial. Fixed a bug where the functions exit winch control and switch winch point were missing when using crane mode. Fixed a bug where the host could see guests appearing on a map after leaving the garage while the host was previewing another map from a global map. It's pretty niche. Fixed a bug where articulated time platform animation was desynchronized between players. Fixed a bug where players were unable to load logs in the unloading zone of Antonovsky Nature Reserve in Don, aka Rostov, a blast. Fixed a bug where missing mod pop up was skipped in the load game menu and was shown after the level was loaded. Fixed a bug where clients were unable to subscribe to more than three mods at a time when they were joining a host session with mods enabled. Fixed a bug where exhaust smoke was missing with higher than 30 frames per second. Fixed a bug where manual unloading zones did not accept the cargo without reaching the zone with the truck. Fixed a bug where the functions menu did not disappear after winching. Fixed a bug where the fog of war was not synced between host and clients, in some cases in co-op. And fixed a bug where recheck mods were removed from player save file. <sighs> anyway. Meanwhile, the Tatra Force got some new mud wheels instead of those from the T813. Sadly, not chrome spinners, but still good news for those who use this Croatian 8 wheeler. What about the new and probably phase six stuff? Well, for starters, expect new upgrades, such as an upgradable winch for the Caterpillar 770G, fine-tuned gearbox for the Freightliner M916A1, active suspension for the DAN96320, love this truck, raised suspension for the International Transtar 4070A, and a new engine for the Derry Longhorn 4520, which seems like an underused truck. My Focus Home slash Sabre Interactive Spy, who is basically a combination of James Bond and Jason Bourne, also noticed a lot of photo mode mentions in the files. Zoom, time, weather, exposure, contrast, hue, saturation, color grading, color grading intensity, vignette, focus mode, aperture, bokeh shape, sampling, motion blur, driver, and truck lights. Basically, it appears you will be able to really fine tune your SnowRunner photos. A pretty cool thing if you ask me, given how scenic a lot of the game is. Also interesting is that there are new, new game start options. New, 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 new. Being able to select a region for a playthrough would suggest this is all about that aforementioned New Game Plus mode. I would imagine Season 6, as I previously said, is when we will see the photo mode and New Game Plus stuff being added. There is also a new cargo type called Solar Panel, which sounds like something us digital truckers will get to lug around. Or, if you drive like me, pick up off the ground because you tipped over while taking a shortcut. All of this stuff is potentially arriving on the public test server this week, which means I shall be making videos. So stay tuned, subscribe if you are new around here, and give the video a like if you would be so kind. Take care. 
Bye.